Welcome back. It is perhaps the most ambitious climate change goal of any state, certainly of any nation in the world, and that's the de desire by the state of California to cut CO2 emissions statewide to 40% of what we reduced in 1990, well over 30 years ago. But a new report indicates we're nowhere near getting to that point. We need to triple the effort in order to reach the 2030 goal. That report uh, was authored by Stanford, Stafford Nichols. He's a research manager at LA-based Beacon Economics and Noel Perry, founder of Next 10, which is a climate change think tank based out of San Francisco. To Thanks to both of you for joining us. So, um, Mr. Nichols, we'll start with you. Uh, what seems to be the problem? Uh, you, uh, from what you're saying in this report, the state needs to triple their effort if they're going to get to this goal. Right. Well, so <clears throat> over the last uh, 10 years or so, we've been decreasing at a rate of about 1.5%. Um, and to reach our 2030 goals, we need to decrease at about 4.6%. So that's three times faster than we have over the last um, decade or so. Uh, and so we still have a considerable way to go before we reach carbon neutral, for sure. But, but what seems to be the problem? What's, what's the biggest issue? The largest uh, sector is transportation. So that's about 39% of all of California's carbon emissions. Uh, number two is the industrial sector. So that represents about 22% of all emissions. And then number three is the electrical uh, sector. And so that's about 16, 17%. Um, so a good place to start if we want to start reducing that is actually passenger vehicles. So within um, sort of the subsectors, passenger vehicles represents 27% of all of the emissions of the state. Uh, so moving to EVs will really help reduce emissions. Um, and then, of course, it's important to remember that EVs charge off the electrical grid. So we also need to make the electrical grid much more clean. So about 50% of um, the electrical grid in California uh, is on fossil fuels. And the majority of that is natural gas. So moving that to uh, renewables will not only reduce emissions from the electrical grid, but also help make vehicles more clean as well. The report comes from the California Green Innovation Index, uh, and it comes from Next 10, uh, Mr. Perry. Um, part of the issue, or so it seems to me, and you talk about it in this report, is the cost of electricity. Uh, remember that Californians pay three times per kilowatt hour uh, for elect electric power than they do in the rest of the United, Western United States. How does that factor into this? That absolutely is a challenge. Because what you have here, if you go back to your electric car example, if you have a gas-powered car compared with an electric vehicle, uh, over the last few years, that differential between what one pays, you know, for your gas compared with the electricity, you're, you're having to pay uh, a bit more, you know, to to uh, you know to power up your car. But that doesn't mean that we're not able to achieve the goals that we have. We've got to get more charging stations and those charging stations have to work better, number one. And I think that in terms of the cost of electric vehicles, they're going down and will continue to go down. So there is a great opportunity there, even aside from the challenge that you raise. Right, getting back to those electric vehicles, sales have, have fallen off a cliff. Uh, there, there are plenty of, uh, dealers that are selling them at a loss just to get them off the lot. Uh, there's a suggestion that this was a niche market and that people who were interested in, in electric vehicles have bought them already and the demand has dried up. That's what we've seen thus far. Yes, I, I don't agree with that. I think in the evolution of any technology, there are ups and downs. And so we're kind of uh, hitting some significant bumps. Uh, in the electric vehicle uh, arena, um, I, I think to your point, I think a lot of the people that originally wanted electric vehicles, the wealthier people, the people that cared about the environment, most of those people have already purchased electric vehicles. And now you have the, you know, the middle income person, the person that needs to get to a job every day. They are actively considering electric vehicles and they got to, and it's understandable. They have to make sure that that car has the range to get them back and forth. But I think that the technology is getting better. Battery technology is getting better. 
the cost is coming down. And I think this issue of uh, charging is huge because um, a lot of people don't own their own house where they can charge. So we have to make charges, charging stations around California, around the country, much more easier to access. And then we're going to see a continued march with the acquisition of electric vehicles. But I believe it's, it's just a bump at this point. Stafford Nichols is a researcher at Beacon Economics here in Los Angeles. Noel Perry is founder of Next 10, which is a think tank out of San Francisco. Uh, thanks to both of you for joining us. We'll have some final comments after this.